All right, everyone, welcome back to another amazing matchup of Go. I'm your host, IndiaSN, and today we, we have an exciting match because we are going to review or and commentate on W Loves' game against Go Trevor. Now, if you guys haven't seen the last video, please take a look at it because W Love was one of the uh, players in that last upload. And so, uh, but during that time, he was a ranking of two Don on OGS. Now, today, reviewing his game right now he is a ranking of 1q so he either there was a new season that happened and he had to re-rank up which probably not he probably got uh de-ranked uh over the span of a couple weeks uh due to uh losing a couple of matches here and there which is fine this is how things go when you're in when you were playing online uh you're gonna rank up and rank down but as long as you are reflecting and learning on your games uh, you can only improve and go Trevor. He is a ranking of two Don. So this is a Don level matchup. We know W Love was holding a rank of two Don in the last episode and go Trevor is a two Don on OGS currently uh, for this episode, but a little bit more background about this as they're just doing the typical normal opening moves, taking the four, four points as well as, uh, you know, trying to set up territory and invade. Uh, but just a little bit more background about W Love. W Love, I actually researched W Love just a little bit more, and he has been a part of the American Go Association, the AGA, since 2008. So it's been quite a while, like 12, 13 years, uh, since he's been registered playing. Now, he could have been playing well before that, before he became a member, but he's been a member since 2008. And Go Trevor, I kid you not, he's been, he, he has such a vast experience because he's been playing since 1986, or at least he was registered under the AGA since 1986. So this game is a wealth, a wealth of knowledge right here. And according to the AGA, according to to their ranking system, W Love holds a title of four Don, not title, but a ranking of four Don versus Go Trevor holds a ranking of five Don. So this is an extremely high level gameplay. So I can't wait to watch this. Uh, th this is gonna be an amazing match. But right now, let's get to the match itself. So currently W Love and Go Trevor is holding, or it's gonna start out with the normal, uh, typical opening moves right here. And so what we see is that Go Trevor and W Love uh, took the 4-4 four, four star point where uh, Go Trevor decides to go on the 4-3 star point. Uh, just to give himself a little bit more uh, of a defense right here to gain this top uh, left-hand territory. And now, uh, as we are continuing on, W Love, who is playing with the Black Stones and Go Trevor is playing the White Stones, uh, W Love uh, initially invaded or initially kind of poked and prod um, Go Trevor's you know, corner. He's like, you know what? I, you, you, you're a stronger player. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pressure on you. I'm not going to let you try to expand too much. I'm going to be very aggressive in the beginning of the game. And hopefully with that top aggression, uh, you will lose footing and potentially slip up. And then I can start dominating you throughout the rest. And so that, that I believe that was W loves his style. You can see right here on the way he plays, he's very aggressive. He's trying to contain uh, go Trevor in these corners right here. I mean, W Love built a, a solid foundation line right here. Um, but Go Trevor is going to expand somewhat outwards. He needs to gain a foothold in the middle of the map. But uh, Go W Love is like, you know what? Go ahead, try to do that. I'm going to try to disconnect you from your group right here. Okay, and so that's what we're currently seeing, at least in the bottom, bottom. Uh, corner right now and so we're seeing a little bit of a conflict we're seeing a little bit of a conflict and w love is like you know what if you're going to start strengthening your fortification right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to box in this little bit of territory and potentially extend outwards and so uh if go trevor just leaves this group unchecked and w love is able to gain footholds on the map by placing stones and expanding the bases expanding his territory influence this could be a huge issue for Go Trevor. So Go Trevor is like, you know what? I'm not going to try uh, to let you gather this whole entire territory right here. Whoops. I'm not going to let you try to gather that whole entire territory right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the amount of territories you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invade because you took the 4-4 four, four star point. I'm going to invade at the 3-3 three, three corner and we're going to do a common a pattern movement called the Joseki. So anytime you hear the phrase Joseki, that just means a normal pattern movement uh, of 
of uh, placing the stone at the four four, then the three three, uh, extending in and extending out, and then playing down. Uh, this is a typical variation, I believe, of the throwing knives Joseki movement. Again, I'm still studying a little bit more of different Joseki, so I'm thinking this is a variation of the throwing knives. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but most likely, what Go Trevor is going to do is maybe have a Tiger's Mouth defense right here. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, I don't know too much. Um, but he's not going to do that. Instead, he's going to go and try to disconnect uh, these two groups right here from each other. Uh, he doesn't want W Love to have a strong presence because if he has a strong presence, look right here. W Love has a wall on top, has a wall on the bottom. And all he has to do is place a couple stones uh in in this region and this whole region is going to be incredibly hard uh to break through especially at their current level uh don level players are very versed in in invasion and protection and defense and so i have no doubt that w love and go trevor knows the ins and outs of these uh, mechanics but right here what we're seeing is that Go Trevor is trying to gain a foothold. He's trying to create an extension out. He might try to go down to prevent W Love from gaining so much territory. So the idea for him right now is, all right, I know you're being hyper aggressive right now. I'm going to defend. And while I'm defending, I'm going to slowly creep out. I'm going to slowly uh, hopscotch, you know, uh, play leapfrog uh, and try to gain influence in the center of the map. And so W Love, uh, and while I'm gaining influence in the center of the map, I'm going to start trying to, you know, get your attention at certain conflicts. So right here, what W Love did was he's trying to protect the potential disconnect if uh, Go Trevor played in this position right here. So the reason why you would want to play a Tiger's Mouth formation uh, right here is to prevent your opponent from playing uh in the what is this what what coordinates is o15 range uh because if go trevor played here before w love was able to play at the uh n15 uh range uh what's going to potentially happen is that uh these stones are going to be under threat because there is a disconnect you disconnected these stones from the others and so that's essentially why he would move here but hold that phone we're gonna go some more and what we see right here is a surround right now w love is getting surrounded by go trevor and w love sees that he's gonna try to escape but i don't think he can escape i don't think so go trevor can just play right here to disconnect him and <clears throat> what's gonna happen is that if w love wants to survive in this corner he needs to find a way to create two eyes maybe play a stone right here maybe w love uh, i think that if you do play a stone right here this would be considered two eyes might be a false eye because this this stone is under threat and so w, uh, go trevor sees that he's going to try to reduce the amount of eye potential that w love can take and an eye all an eye is for those of you who are brand new to the game an eye is just a space that's surrounded by your stone you so you have an empty space surrounded by your stones so that your opponent cannot play in the eye because that's a suicidal uh play move and this is very very strong if you're able to create two eyes so if you have a long chain of units and you are able to create two eyes within that same group of units potentially potentially um you will be able to live forever so to speak and what we see right here is go trevor understands that he's going to prevent w love from taking that extra eye and so he played right here now you guys might think this is a suicidal move yes w love can play right here and capture this stone but in doing so he leaves this stone open for advantage or for for uh stealing so to speak uh, uh go trevor can easily uh capture this stone uh if he plays right here he can capture that stone right there and go back in and destroy uh the eye make uh, so what we would then call this uh, stone, if you were to play it out, would be considered a false eye. Now, obviously, uh, Go Trevor is not going to do that just yet because if he does play white stone here, uh, W Love can easily play right here and capture all of these stones because there are no open liberties left uh, for uh, for him. So, well, that's if that's if uh, W Love does play there. Okay. 
Now, I do know that uh, I, I caught myself, guys. I caught myself. If Go Trevor does play here, say if he does play here, yes, he'll have one liberty only open, but because he's surrounding this stone, he captures that stone, opening up another liberty, and that will cause a whole uh, fun of, of message. Or, or of a mess and so uh, I, I i slipped up i slipped up guys because i'm so focused and i'm trying to make sure that i'm reading correctly uh but this is just such a such an amazing match right now because essentially w love has lost this overall group and so that is a big dent especially that go trevor is the second player moving he does have that extra advantage of having that additional six and a half points and so what's going to happen right now is w love understands this he's going to try to take as much territory as he can he's going to try to build uh along this bottom range uh but just know that you know w love yeah you can try to extend and reduce go trevor's uh territorial capturing but you're not going to be capturing so many pieces uh, what's going to happen is that, yeah, you might have these, but because they're only one line thick, you have about four points right here, um, potentially. Uh, but right now, Go Trevor is boxing you in. You were super hyper aggressive in the beginning, but because of this conflict right here, uh, Go Trevor was able to take Sente. Now, Go Trevor's able to put on the pressure. He's like, you know what? I'm going to play defensive first, I'm going to protect my foothold. And then as you are being super hyper aggressive, I'm just going to play a move where it throws you off your momentum. I'm going to steal your momentum away from you, and then I'm going to put on the pressure. And so that's exactly what's happening right here. So W Love is trying. He's trying to surround this whole entire group right here. But I don't think he can. Uh, I don't think he has enough liberties uh, to surround it. Uh, I mean, right here, in order for... In order for W Love to capture this whole group, he has to fill in these three spots. Uh, he might be able to. Now, what we're doing is we're in a a race. Essentially, what we're doing is we're in a race. And I don't know if Go Trevor can defend this. Yes, Go Trevor might lose this, but if Go Trevor can start building a, a base on the outside right here, he can contain W Love. And so W Love is like, you know what? You 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 took my pieces up here. I'm gonna take your pieces. All right. You might have the advantage. Maybe W Love uh, is gonna put his stones right here. But Go Trevor can easily start building a base on the outside and containing that. But W Love knows that Go Trevor is most likely not going to defend just yet. He's probably gonna play elsewhere because he knows that this group is essentially lost. Uh, if W Love plays there, he captures that whole entire group. So Go Trevor knows that 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 group is essentially lost and when you know that your group is essentially lost to nuke out place play elsewhere so that you can start getting a foothold somewhere else yes you might lose six points for go trevor's situation he's losing seven points but if you can start building elsewhere outside as you can see right here uh go trevor's trying to gain more influence on this side of the more he's going to try to build a wall right here so he's going to try to build a wall right here to uh, complement the wall that he's currently building right here and potentially have this territory to himself, uh, this whole region. And so he's going to try to contain Go Trevor towards the edge of the board because, you know, the more that you're closer to the edge of the board, the less points that you're going to have in terms of territorial points. And so Go Trevor sees that. He's like, you know what? Take it. I'm going to start gaining influence elsewhere. So that's always a good idea uh, for uh, all of us new players is that when we know something is absolutely lost, Tanuki out, sacrifice those stones. They, they played their part, but sacrifice those stones and build influence elsewhere, either creating a base, extending your base, or defending. Uh, that's always a good move. And WLF sees that uh, this stone is going to be, um, these groups of stone is going to be somewhat in trouble. And so what he's going to do is he's going to try to build a base and build a fortification on the outside, trying to contain those stones. Maybe he can get Go Trevor in a liberty race, a lifeline race, whatever you want to call it, and try to box in Go Trevor and try to capture those or at least contain them. But because he did build a wall or starting of a wall, he can extend out and start building a base fortification right here, a, a, a fortification right here to potentially gather this territory as his own. So W Love is uh, not only is he attacking 
go Trevor and, you know, building a presence and an influence in the middle of the right hand map. But he's also setting up for a later portion of the game during the mid to mid late game of uh, creating uh, enough fortification, enough support to extend out and block out that whole right side of the map. And so, oh my gosh, the, the level that these guys are playing at is so amazing. At least for me, when I'm when I'm going through my own games, I'm always focused on just the fight, like right here, and I'm trying to defend without realizing that hey, uh, Go Trevor built a nice wall right here. He might potentially grab this whole piece later on. Uh, I don't see that, and so it, it's so amazing to see these advanced players playing and see how those strategies are unfolding. And W Love and Go Trevor, if you are ever able to see. Uh, this video please comment below and tell me what i am missing and so uh, w love sees that go trevor is extending outwards he's seeing that go trevor is trying to gain influence in the middle and w love is like you know what no not gonna have it i'm gonna defend i'm gonna do a knight's move away try to defend i know i'm within two spaces uh away from each of my stones and that is going to be a very easy way to defend uh, it's very easy for him to defend that if go trevor tries to invade uh, w love can always form a net form a block form a cap whatever you want to call it and block in so say that for instance if go trevor decides to disconnect uh right here playing a stone right here uh, w love all he has to do is really play right here and cap off or block off uh go trevor's uh, ability to extend out and yeah go trevor might or, or yeah, go trevor might be able to extend out right here and you know um Sorry, W Love might be able to extend out there uh, by playing on that blue stone. But uh, go Trevor W. I'm getting the players mixed up, guys. You guys get the idea. What's gonna happen is that if there's two stones out, it's gonna be if they're two 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 gaps away, they're gonna have a hard time invading. Uh, the defending player will have an easier time defending. And so uh, Go Trevor sees that. He says, then, you know what? I'm not going to invade you just yet. I'm going to build a presence on the outside just for the potential uh, that I may be able to contain this whole uh, Black's territory within my territory right here. And so that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to keep everybody contained. Uh, w Love is expanding outwards. He's trying to uh, build a foothold in the middle of the map. But unfortunately... Go Trevor has already set up the game so that he does have a fortification building up in the center. Versus W Love only has this right here. So I don't know. Go Trevor seems to be in a much better position to contain and squeeze uh, W Love's units all the way in the center of the map and potentially gather a surrounding. So uh, W Love does look to be somewhat ahead right now let's just do a territorial approximation so w loves territory is right here right now so that's pretty much his uh he's pretty much got this whole area plus uh this whole area right now so w love and and maybe a little bit of this area maybe a little bit of that area uh potentially um go Trevor's territory is right here right uh, and a little bit of over here and right there and uh, WLF might have a little bit of that territory So it looks like as of right now Based on the current situation of the game WLF is ahead in territorial points. Yes, he got one unit captured. Yes, he got some stones captured uh, Groups of stones captured, but he in turn captured some of go Trevor's stones as well So now go Trevor really has to do something right now He's not in a great position in terms of territorial count, but the game can always trade off. The game is, if you're able to build a good enough influence in the center, you might be able, I mean, go Trevor, if he's able to gather this whole entire spot, let me see right here, this whole entire spot in the center, this is going to outshine W. Luff's uh, territorial captures right here, okay? And right now, uh, the, the, game, the name of the game for go Trevor to win this match is to reduce the amount of territories W Love has on the edge. So he's gonna start poking and prodding, invading in the center, and he's probably gonna do a disconnect right here or right here uh, for this black stone. But before he does that, he's going to extend outwards and start reducing uh, the amount of influence W Love has on the edge of the board. 
And this might be a fantastic move. They might be seeing something that we don't see right now. And they probably see, yes, these stones can stay alive. They're, I'm not going to get surrounded. I'm not going to get captured. If anything, if anything, what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to gather uh, this amount of territory for myself. So right now, Go Trevor, not only is he reducing W. Loves' territory on the left-hand side, but he's also expanding his own territory on the top left hand or left hand corner and w love sees that he's like go trevor you're, you're stealing all of my stuff now i gotta do something i'm gonna place a stone right here to put pressure on these three stones while having uh, more presence right here towards the back and go trevor's like you know what try that i'm gonna block you i'm gonna start placing stones right here so that if you try to extend out i can always disconnect and right there we can see that go trevor was reading a couple moves ahead he sees that w love might be extending out so he decides to place an intersecting stone on the path that might potentially lead w love back to safety so place a blockage before uh they cross that road so to speak and so oh my gosh go trevor the amount of moves that you're reading ahead is amazing. I, I can't keep up with you guys. I can't keep up. And so W Love is like, oh my gosh, I I'm going to try to disconnect these three groups of stone, but I don't think that's going to work. Uh, w Love can extend out or extend down. Now, I'm curious as to know why he didn't extend out, but extend it down. Maybe it's to reduce uh, the amount of stones or the territory that W Love might have at the end game. He's placing in this neutral region. Uh, right here uh, so that uh, W Love can't place a stone right here. So if Go Trevor was to place a stone here, uh, W Love can place a stone right here, gaining an extra space of territory. And right now, uh, since Go Trevor is limited in the amount of territories that he has, reducing as many territories as he can from W Love is the key to his victory. All right. So not only uh, gaining presence in the middle of the map, but reducing that extra territory that W Love can potentially have towards the end game. And so uh, what we're seeing right now is W Love is going to peep through this little hole right here. He's doing a peeping move and he might go in for the disconnect. He might go in for the disconnect here, disconnecting these two groups of stone. And if he does disconnect those two stones, <gasps> W Love, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. He's disconnected these two stones. Now these two stones are much weaker. Not only did Go Trevor find a way to disconnect those those two groups, but he's able to defend it if W Love tries to fight back. If W Love tries to fight here, there's nothing he can do. There's nothing. I mean, Go Trevor can just block him in. And so, W just within one move, within one move. Uh, w Love, I don't know if this Tiger's move was a good move. Uh, the Tiger's mouth right here to defend this stone, maybe from a capture, but you 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 let Go Trevor go through, and now those two stones are severely weakened. And if Go Trevor just plays right here too, he's gonna disconnect these two stones. He's gonna disconnect those two stones. Oh my gosh! Oh, Go Trevor, Go Trevor, your 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 one hundred one thousand IQ moves. My gosh, man. Oh, but W Love, you know, W Love is trying to capture as many stones as he can. And now W Love is in trouble because these stones are getting surrounded. W Love has to do something. Maybe he's going to play right here on the B4 move to threaten this stone exactly and defending himself at the same time. Because if Go Trevor finds a way to box him in, he's going to be in trouble. And so this stone is in trouble right now. And Go Trevor doesn't care. Go Trevor's like, go ahead, take it. I'm going to reduce your photo. I'm going to take this corner right here. That's exactly. He's sacrificing a one stone, one point. He's sacrificing this one point to gain four. So sacrifice one to gain four more points. And that is a brilliant move. He, he just reduced W loves his foothold right here down to this tiny little thing. To this little tiny little thing. He reduced it. He WLF. WLF. No. Oh my gosh. Just three moves. Disconnecting these groups from each other while improving your territorial gain. Look at that. Look at that. And all WLF has to do, or Go Trevor has to do right here, is play in the center and essentially this little bottom corner right here is his territory now oh my gosh w love you are playing so well 
I I couldn't see where the fault was. I I honestly think your the fault was this key move right here. This move I think was what put you. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is a fantastic game. I I I honestly think that D13 move. That D13 move was what stands out and what really got this match to flip. If only WLF was able to play there, maybe he would have been able to defend with a stronger base. Oh, man. Oh. If only, because he could easily connect down here, right? If he played a D13 and go Trevor plays somewhere else, he could easily connect this whole entire group and this whole bottom chain might have been saved. This whole entire bottom territory might have been saved. But because go Trevor was able to slice through uh, the group, W Love doesn't have this extra foothold of territory. And so let's do a territorial count right now. Let's just see what's in the territory. Go Trevor has this territory right here. He potentially has this bottom bit. He has this top bit. He has this bit right now. Not only that, but he did capture a lot of stones. And how about the center right here? No, the center, I think I think the center is still neutral. And W Love's territory is just this tiny little bit. And this little corner, maybe this region right here, and maybe this region, maybe. I mean, just based on the amount of territorial space, it looks to be roughly around the same area. But because Go Trevor has that extra six and a half points, right? Go Trevor has that extra six and a half points. I think Go Trevor's ahead in this game. I think Go Trevor just flipped the whole match. Wow. Oh man, what a game. And so Go Trevor sees that. He's going to try to peep through. He might just go in for the disconnect. He might just place the disconnect. And if he places the disconnect, then I think he has the solid foundation on the board. Oh my gosh, but he decides to play down here. And then I believe now that he's claimed the center territory right here. By placing this move, I think placing this move is a smart move because W Love, no matter what he does, if he tries to extend out, Go Trevor can always block in. Any way that uh, that W Love extends, he can block. And if he tries to skip a stone, say for instance, uh, W Love decides to try to expand a little faster, he can always cut in and block him. I think this move right here solidified Go Trevor's presence in the center of the board. And that amount of territory is just phenomenal. I, I, and W. Luff resigns. W. Luff resigns. So, Go Trevor was behind in the beginning of the game. W. Luff, you had the momentum, you had everything. But I think because you had so much momentum, you were so focused on fighting, I think Go Trevor knew that. And so all he was doing is he was defending the whole time. But while defending, he was building presence on the board. And then just this move, the D13 move. I think the D13 move was the deciding factor. I, I, I that, that move is the one that stands out, at least at my current ra ranking. But this was a phenomenal game. A lot of twists, a lot of turns, a lot of attack, a lot of defense from these incredibly experienced and high-level players. I mean, this is this was an amazing game. And so... Go Trevor has won with Black's resignation, with W Loves's resignation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this, oh man, I'm learning so much about Go just doing these commentations. And and if you guys are are watching this and you absolutely love it, please comment down below and tell me what you guys thought about this game. What was that key move that uh, you guys saw that completely flipped the game on itself? I honestly think it was that D13 move. Guys, if you guys are more advanced, list down below and tell me what your thoughts are on what, what was that one key move that totally flipped this game. So anyways, uh, I, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please check out the other videos if you haven't done so already. And I'm hoping that uh, this channel uh, is going to, uh, you know, make go a little bit more interesting for everyone. Uh, I, I just love this sport. I love this game. And so anyways, long outro. I'm gone. I'm done. See you guys in the next Go commentary.